Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Miss Marcy, and I'm back with another recap of Y'all Know What It Is, baby. Yes, yeah, all about that insecure season two, episode six. Hella blows. Let's get into it. All right, so this episode starts out with Issa jumping up out of bed, running out to the street. She done parked her car in the wrong section or whatever. She done parked her car in the do not park section or whatever. So she had to jump up early as fuck in the morning so she could run just to run out there and turn her car around or whatever. I'm like, Issa, Issa always doing something. But anyway, so then we have Molly, you know, Dro sitting up calling Molly because, you know, y'all know they done smashed or whatever. So Molly's feeling all weird in some type of way because, you know, this is her friend. They've been friends since childhood. So she's like, oh, my God, she's thinking. I know what she was thinking without her even saying it out loud. She's sitting up there thinking, damn, you know, how how we going to proceed from this? You know, this man, he's been my friend pretty much all my life. You know, now he done seen me naked. He done gave me the dick. I mean, oh my God, he done laid the pipe. I don't know how it's going to go from here. So she's sitting at work and she's just, you know, doing her work and Dro's calling her. And she looks at the phone and she rolls her eyes because she's kind of like, man, she don't want to pick up the phone. Not because she really don't want to talk to him, but just simply because of the awkwardness that she, she don't know how to deal with it. So she go ahead and answers the phone. You know, Dro's like, hey, what's up? You know? Just carrying on a normal conversation like he would if, even if they had never had sex because they, they're friends. So she's going along with it. You know, she's like, you know, hey, what's going on? And then she just can't take it no more. So she's like, am I the only one that, you know, am I the only one that feels weird about the fact that we had sex? And he's like, you know, he's just kind of cool about it. Like, it's really not a big deal to him, you know? So her mother calls and she's, you know, she get an incoming call from her mother and she's like, well, look, I got to go. So, you know, I'll just, you know, I'll talk to you later. She's like, is my mom on the other line? So he's like, am I still going to see you later? She's like, "Mm mm-hmm, yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, bye. So they hang up. So Issa with her, you know, wannabe whole self, y'all know she's still on this whole kick. She's trying to have this rotation going on where she got all these different dudes in rotation. So... (laughs) She goes down to the big Waphead neighbor's house. You don't know the one she smashed or whatever a couple episodes ago. She goes down to his house, his big head self. He answered the door and he's like, wait a minute, did I text you to come over here or something? And in other words, in a nice way, like, the hell you doing? Not just coming to drop him by. I didn't, I didn't call you. I didn't text you. <laughs> as far as I know, we weren't supposed to be meeting up. So, <laughs> so. Oh, oh goodness. So, y'all, this show is so funny to me. (laughs) So, you know, Issa, she's so awkward. So, she's like, no, no. I saw that your light was on. I decided to just come on by. Issa hoping she going to, you know, get get laid again or whatever. But hold on, hold on. I want to go back. I want to go back. Before she even went down to his house, this girl was in the mirror talking stuff to herself like, who gonna get that dick tonight? You gonna get that dick tonight. <laughs> she was like, who gonna get that dick tonight? You. <laughs> I can't with her. Like, she be having me hollering. So anyway, so like I said, she goes down to the big Waphead boy's house. So he's like, what, what the fuck are you doing here, basically? So she's like, well, I saw you lying on. I just thought I'd come on down. So next thing you know, we hear a girl in the background. So this fool got company. So no dick for her tonight. He already, somebody already beat you to the punch, Issa. So Issa feeling embarrassed. She gone back up to the house. Like ain't, ain't no, ain't no action for me tonight. So Lawrence, you know, he got this, this new job or whatever. He's trying to prove himself. He done created this app, but he gave a presentation. The, the geek squad didn't seem like they was feeling, I'm calling them the geek squad. Cause that's, I mean, it's techie tech, you know? So the Geek Squad, they wasn't feeling it, you know, but they didn't want to really let him know that. So when it was all said and done, his co-worker pulled his coattail. And she was like, you know what? I don't think they liked it for real. You know, and at first he's kind of playing her like, yeah, I don't agree with you. You don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? So he decides to go talk to the Geek Squad personally, directly. And he could kind of get the vibe that they were trying to just be nice about letting him know that they really wasn't feeling his act 
or whatever. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I think Lawrence is going to hook up with that girl. I really do. He's going to hook up with her. But anyway. And y'all, is it just me? Or does Issa dress like she's still in the 80s somewhere? She be wearing no mom jeans and shit. I saw her have, she, last episode, I think she had on a Dare t-shirt. I ain't seen a Dare t-shirt since the 80s, hunty. So Issa and Molly, they talking at the car shop or whatever. Um, they sitting there talking. Molly's talking about how she's feeling really awkward about her and Dro. Now that they done smashed, she don't really know what to expect. Issa's more worried about her car or whatever. Um, the guy comes out, gives her, gives her, um, you know, a, a price or whatever. It's like five thousand some dollars, and Issa knows she can't afford that. So Molly's like, "All right, girl, I'll give you a ride or whatever." I mean, that's what friends are for. So thank goodness she got Molly there. So after they leave the car shop, you know, they don't worked up a good appetite. You know, all that stress, they need to go get something to eat. So they pull up at the Astro Burger. So they in line, they sitting in the uh, drive through line or whatever. Molly and Issa. So they're just talking or whatever. Issa's like, you know you know, what's up? Like, she's just trying to figure out why she can't get no dick. You know what I'm saying? She's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty decent. You know, I'm the type, you know, you would have sex and be like, you know what? Yeah. She's like, I mean, I'm no Rihanna. I mean, sex with me is not amazing, but I mean, you would have sex with me and be like, oh, okay. I'll do that again. You know? So it's just, it's just not going with this whole phase is not going well for Issa. <laughs> if anything, she keep getting embarrassed. So Molly meets up with Dro. Okay. As she told him, she would. She she keeps her word or she meets up with him or whatever. So they meet up to watch a game. So Molly's still feeling all weird and awkward about the fact that they done slept together. Dro really is just playing it cool. Like, it's really not a big deal. You know what I mean? So they have a little moment where, you know what I'm saying, they kind of talk or whatever, you know. And uh, he ordered, she ordered some fries. He ordered her fries before she got there because she got there late. But while he was waiting on her, he done ate her fries up really so she's like, you ate up all my fries, but they just basically have like a friendly moment. And they just showed, I think they just showed us that, you know, they really are good friends. And, and, and I think it's on Dro's part. He's like, it's really not a big deal that we had sex, you know? So in the meantime, Issa has a date with Nico, the guy off of Tinder. Well, they're meeting up at her house because they're supposed to go to a restaurant, but before they go, Issa done put on this little ass skirt or whatever. Okay, again, she's trying to get laid. So she started making little passes at him or whatever. And then she turns around and just start kissing on him and stuff while they're sitting on the couch. So he stops her. And he's like, hold on, wait a minute. I don't think we should do this. I think we should get to the restaurant. And she's like, well, it's okay. I, you know, I really want to do this. He's like, no, I want to get to know you. Why did he say that, honey? Because right about now, Issa ain't trying to get to know no damn body. Issa trying to get laid, and that's it. What is wrong with you guys? Why won't nobody lay her out? I mean, like, she want to be laid out. She want to just have her rotation going on. But like I said, she might need to hang it up because it just ain't working out for her. He, he's like, well, do you still... Well, he tells her, like, I want to get to know you. And she's like, what the fuck? So he's like, I mean, you still want to go to the restaurant? She's like, uh, uh, no. So he leaves or whatever. And when he was going out the door, she was just like, with an attitude. <laughs> oh, shit. Y'all know what's funny. I bet if Issa wanted a relationship, I bet you it'd be the other way around. I bet you everybody be trying to smash while she trying to have a serious committed relationship. Everybody would be trying to smash. See, people just, men are just so backwards. So, honey, Whatever awkwardness Molly was feeling, uh, Dro done fucked it right up out of her because they, they showed them going at it again, honey. Going at it, getting down and dirty, baby. She was all like, oh, that feels so good. He hitting it from behind or whatever. You know, she like, oh, that feels so good. Oh, goodness, honey. It's on and popping for them two now. She is like so comfortable with it now. She's like, whatever it is, what it is. Honey, they done, they done smashed like four times, baby. They having pillow talk. And Dro tells Molly that basically, you know, they're having talk and she's asking about him and Candace or whatever. And basically, Dro tells Molly that, yeah, Candace knows about him and other women. Let me tell y'all what I think. I don't think Candace knows. I, I don't know. I just, something ain't right about this whole we're, you know, we're open thing. I don't know. Something just doesn't seem right. Something ain't right in the buttermilk. Okay. We're going to find out soon enough, though. All right. So, Issa and the girls go to this 
sex explosion thing. It's some type of sexual, all things, sexual toys and everything. Like a fun party, basically. So they go there. And, you know, they're just looking around at the toys and stuff. And they get on the topic about giving head or fellatio or whatever. So they started talking about that. So the light-skinned girl, I still do not know that girl's name. But the one that's married to Sean. She started telling them how she don't mind giving head. Issa like, "Mm mm-mm. She don't like giving head or whatever. So, old girl tells them, like, well, look, you know, why y'all think black men are marrying white women, honey? Because white women know how to get next to them down there. And when you get next to a man down there, you're pretty much got him. So, this is what she's telling them. So, Issa's getting, you know, some ideas. Like, hmm. So, <laughs> so they laughing and, you know, they talking, having a good time or whatever about that. So, Issa and Daniel get together. Issa want to try her new trick on Daniel, honey. So they they together. He done bought her his her he done he done bought her her favorite wine, and she's like, "Oh, you remembered." So they sipping on some wine or whatever. You know, they about to get it popping. They start hugging and kissing. It's getting hot and heavy. They about to go at it. Issa stops and she's like, "No, no, no. I I want to do this. I want to do something. I want to try something on you." So she proceeds to go down and start giving him some fellatio some head or whatever so she's doing that and she's going at it like a pro you know meanwhile dro and uh molly they all they all off into the hotel honey they in the bathtub taking bubbler baths and stuff he he you know he playing with the box or whatever you know he like mm, she like mm, that feel good so then next thing you know that little groove is disturbed by a text message from candace the phone vibrates. Dro reads the text message and it's from Candace. And he's like, oh, I got to go. Molly's like, wait, what? what's wrong? What's wrong? Like, what? So he's like, it's Candace. She done locked herself out. You know, I got to go. Molly rolled her eyes like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get used to this right here now. Molly, this is what you signed up for, baby. Messing with somebody else's man. You got to understand. You ain't going to come first place, boo-boo. You got to get in where you fit in. If you want to be a man's number one, honey, I suggest you quit slipping and sliding in the bed with Dro. Because, honey, at this rate, you're not going to be a man's number one. You're going to keep on being his side chick. Because open relation, open marriage or not, Candace is still going to be his, his primary, you know what I'm saying, concern. She's still going to be his main chick, his number one. I mean, regardless. I mean, Molly was salty too, honey, because they didn't order room service. She thinking she about to have Dro all night out of herself, honey. No, no. So then meanwhile, back with Issa and Daniel. So Issa going hard in the paint on that D, honey. She getting down and dirty. She rocking and knocking it. She getting it on, boy. She's slobbing that knob, boy. Next thing you know, Daniel like, I'm about to come, I'm about to come. Next thing you know, he skeeted all in her face. <laughs> He skeeted all in her face and it got shot her right in the eye. OMG. And she's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She jumped up like, and she got mad at him. But I didn't understand, like, why you get mad at him? I mean, you, I mean, she should have known to move her face when he said he was about to come. You either go swallow it or, you know, or hold it in your mouth or you're going to get up and move out the way or something. Why would you why would you keep your face down there like that? No, Issa, that was your fault. You was tripping. But it was a funny episode, y'all. So that was pretty much all that happened. I hope y'all like this review. Till next time, this is Miss Marcy. Peace.